yeah now i can also hear you properly so uh, i was saying if you have a lot of questions queries in your mind you can ask me oh uh, ma'am ma'am i get stuck uh, while i speak in english and i i many what forget when i speak in front of a audience and a state and lot of people made fun of me so i i, I sometime i hesitated and i feel nervous so <clears throat> sometime i thinking that i cannot learn in english so one day <clears throat> i watch your video and you good advice many learner so i thinking that one day i connect with you and i solve my problem with you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so you face a lot of difficulties while speaking like you feel nervous you get stuck people laugh at you and everything so um first of all tell me like when did you exactly start speaking in english yes ma'am so ma'am a first time i connect a komal hirani ma'am komal hirani ma'am lot of uh, advice me and a uh, thinking and you speak loudly so that day i always practice my english so i i see myself i gradually improve my english okay okay so how have like uh, it's how long have you been doing like uh, it's been a one month or two months how long yeah. have you been i i learn in english uh, from two months okay it's been two months only okay so uh, you are learning for two months you have been learning english for two months right okay so i am talking about speaking practice like like when did you start speaking exactly do you speak yes ma'am with whom you speak i speak with you ma'am yeah right now you are speaking with me for the very first time but before me with whom you speak with whom you interact every day ma'am i speak always in front of mirror and i speak my friend and i i walk on the road what was thinking my mind i use english sentences sometime mm -hmm. i feel a lot of mistake english sentences but i rectify my english ma'am oh okay 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 so sometimes you talk in front of mirror sometimes you talk to your friends and sometimes you try to think in english these are the three things that you are doing okay so how many friends do you have who speak in english um, i have two friends two friends and both speak in english but ma'am uh, their mother tongue is not uh, english their mother tongue is bengali so yes. um, we are try to speak in english each to other mm -hmm. okay i think uh, like they also want to learn this language and that's why you all of three you try to interact in english with each other right okay 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 so uh, as you mentioned it's been two months you have been learning this language so i want to know like how you are learning from youtube or are you learning grammar are you reading books or are you watching a lot of conversation videos how you are learning what is your learning uh, resources and what is your method to learn to you know get input ma'am lot of time i watch english videos and lot of time i'm i reading book and i sometime i uh, practice in english okay so i i was talking about the input so first you watch a lot of conversation videos on youtube uh, yes ma'am and second you read books read books okay okay so whenever you read a book how do you read a book ma'am i read a book uh, this book name uh, atomic habits so mm -hmm. 
तो दिस बुक इज सो नाइस स्ट्रक्चर इजीली एंड वर्ड इज सो इजी yeah so yes so i was asking how do you read do you read in your mind or do you read it loudly yeah. how do you read i i read loudly and sometimes i speak ma'am okay that's great it means you know your causes like your problems your challenges and you are following the right things like you watch videos and you listen to many people and you are reading books every day and again the way is also good like you are reading it loudly which is great i appreciate it that you are doing a good work and you are you have you have chosen a right you know good book for the initial time like i think you have just started reading books and atomic habit is the best one with start like yes. right yes. yes okay okay now this is a learning one and out and uh, this this was all about input now if i talk about output you speak with yourself you speak in front of mirror and you speak with your friends that's also good that you are doing but you know it's old only been a uh, two months so we cannot expect many results right uh like yes, if you think i will speak uh, fluent english in 3 months it is not possible because english is our second language right it requires time it demands time and we have to put uh, our 100% there every single day so tell me that are you very consistent with this journey like are you doing all the things every day every day ma'am that's great you are i guess very passionate and very punctual and hard working at the same time right every day i watch your video so i feel very good ma'am every single day um i watch your uh, english video again and again every single day thank you so much you must be learning something yes ma'am yes ma'am that's great okay that's great okay so uh, shall we discuss something today yes ma'am okay so let's discuss about uh, risk first of all about risk so when you listen this word risk what do you think like what is risk according to you risk 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 no you are pronouncing it as risk no risk 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 try again risk risk first forget about the k sound okay only pronounce risk 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 yeah risk ma'am my pronunciation is not good <laughs> but it will improve gradually when you practice it every day don't worry about it i was also very bad at it now gradually yeah. i am improving my uh, like pronunciation so don't worry about it i will try to yes. my best every day yes 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 and then you will definitely improve i'm telling you because the one who puts his 100% he always improves there will be always you know a drastic change that you can see in yourself if you are putting your 100% with consistency okay if you are very consistent you will be able to see the results now the pronunciation is risk so tell me about risk what is risk 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 is any problem any mm -hmm. happen mm -hmm. what our life mm -hmm. okay i every day i every day reads to do something or okay i every day take risk take risk i every day take risks do my work mm -hmm. okay okay that is okay and you know now after this session your first homework is to check the pronunciation of risk and pronounce it again and again and again okay first you have to google it what is the pron right pronunciation of risk or simply you can write down like risk pronunciation 
you will get a risk pronunciation you have to listen the pronunciation many times because your pronunciation is like you are you know shifting words first is risks you are pronouncing it as risks but it is risk risk okay so after listening to that particular con uh, particular uh, pronunciation you have to repeat it many times okay note down this risk word in your word list that you have to uh, you know improve that you have to improve the pronunciation okay ma'am a lot of time i face many problem because i am from bengali medium school i did not go to english medium school yes you know i i also didn't go to english medium school whether yeah it was although it was uh, navodaya like after 6th standard i got admission there but uh, it was like nothing for me as like uh, i didn't get anything in english i wasn't able to understand even i was in minus i used to write everything in hindi and then i used to just mug up everything and just try to write the examination that was the thing i did so i was also very terrible at it don't worry but if you are there if you are putting your 100% if you do continuously this hard work you will achieve your desired fluency or desired result okay now as you mentioned risk like you face every day risk and yeah everyone faces risk every day and uh, they takes risk especially not faces we faces challenges and problems but then we take risks okay everyone takes risk now risk in simple words we can say risk is when you are not certain about the outcomes certain about the results like in my opinion if there is totally uncertainty about the outcomes and results then it's called in simple words risk that is risk okay when you don't know what is going to happen when you don't when you cannot predict the results like if i take this risk what would going to happen you are not uh, you cannot assume it no, you cannot predict it okay so that is risk in simple words so like this okay as you mentioned like you have uh, uh, you face many problems related to pronunciation so whenever you pronounce a particular word and you feel like it is not right just google it just listen to that pronunciation and try to repeat after that okay make a proper word list whenever you come across any new word and you feel like i don't know the right pronunciation check and then repeat okay ma'am i lot of time you know listening podcast any english speech celebrity mm -hmm. okay so, that's great that will improve your knowledge your input your knowledge will you will gather a lot of knowledge in your subconscious mind and whenever you will be a, you will get a chance to speak you will not you know lack in your thoughts you would create you will be able to create as many uh, thoughts as required okay so this is good that you are consuming content even good content you know i have seen many people who are watching reels like only reels all the time whenever they get even one hour two hours they try to watch reels on instagram or short videos on youtube but you are doing a great work like you know you are facing a lot of uh, issues challenges and you are you know passionate to learn this language so and at the same time you are consuming good content like podcasts are like not based just on you are not learning english there you are learning life lessons also where you need to focus what to what you need to inculcate in yourself right like related to mind related to health related to diet and related to like well being everything you are learning related to spirituality related to books many things you are learning at the same time right ma'am a lot of time i um, listening your speech <laughs> my speech or my videos like my conversation videos do you watch okay so here is a word can you see it lesson lesson okay so tell me one life lesson that you have learned till now repeat ma'am you have to share one life lesson that you have learned till now like if i talk about myself i have learned a life lesson that uh, i should not waste my time in gossiping 
or uh, you know in uh, just participating in rubbish things and all that i should instead participate instead of participating there i should work on myself i should you know watch a particular podcast or i should utilize this time somewhere okay so what is the life lesson you have learned till now um i learned lot of many things youtube channel and i i always mm, write down my exercise book and try to understand these things and i love to learn new things every single day so today i learn new things from you ma'am Mm-hmm. okay so whenever you come across any new thing that you uh, which you learn from any youtuber or while watching a particular podcast you note down in your notebook is that yes, so ma'am. yes ma'am. Mm-hmm. great great you have a lot of i think great habits how did you inculcate all those habits in you <laughs> it is my uh, right childhood ma'am okay okay and maybe because of the uh, book that you are reading nowadays atomic habits because of that yes ma'am mm-hmm. great 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 this book ma'am so sometime i did not read this book but i go to my work and i teach uh, a coaching center wow you didn't mention that you teach in a coaching center okay what do you teach i teach uh, history ma'am history wow so you must be knowing a lot of things about india like about history i don't know much <laughs> yeah, ma'am a yeah, yeah, komalizani ma'am told me he uh, he uh, uh, did not like history yes uh huh exactly okay so uh, are you teaching are you connected with a particular institute yes ma'am yes yeah so i was asking are you working with a particular institution no ma'am no ma'am okay then how how are you working online ma'am uh, sometime online and i i go to a, a coaching center that's mean public institution ma'am okay sometimes you so, go there sometimes okay 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 that's great that's great okay you want to polish your teaching skills right <laughs> so, ma'am <clears throat> first time i go to classroom and i i, I tell my college student good morning uh, and open your book <laughs> and i i understand i try to understand my college student my student is so nice and any any matter discuss with me and sometime they cannot study to me but i will always suggest you have to read every single day don't miss out a day so you cannot success without hard work so you have to uh, <clears throat> hard work every single day so, so we cannot think any success but any achievement oh wow i am able to see the fire in you like you are already a good person who uh, you know a marvelous one who is i can say um, who is very passionate towards his career teaching i think you have a passion towards teaching and learning if you and i guess you know everything i don't need to tell you like uh, you have to read every day you have to listen to people every day you have to follow these kind of habits because you are already guiding many students out there so you know the you know you know the value of reading every day you know the value of listening every day right i'm i teach 
I teach graduation level. Oh wow! Great, great. I have qualified college service in two thousand twenty-three. Okay, congratulations. A college, a college service commission did not uh, uh, call me for interview, but mm -hmm. I hope they, they call me for interview. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, uh, can I know what is your aim? What do you want to become? Um, I always wanted to become a college professor. College professor. Okay, okay. So, are you preparing for that? Yes, ma'am. Every great, day, great. every day, I pre I preparing for interview. Oh wow, that's great! All the very best for that. And you know, I want to tell you something. You now you have to focus on the past tense more. Okay, when you are listening to a particular conversation, a particular uh, podcast, try to focus on past tense. As you were explaining about the day one when you went to the institution or coaching center, you are uh, told or you asked them, you asked students to open their books. You told them to do that. Okay. So you were using I go there, I tell them. No, use I went there and I told. Okay, past form, second form. Whenever we are explaining about the past incident, about a past incident, we use second form. Okay. Ma'am, yeah, I don't know English grammar deeply, but I know basic grammar. So is English grammar need for in, uh, uh, speaking language? Ma'am? Yes. We should know about the gram about the tenses at least because if we are to if we want to talk about a past incident, how will be able to speak without knowing the past tense? Like we have to explain the past tense with did form, with had, and with second form, like ed form, mostly ed form. We follow in uh, verb, right? So if we don't know about the past tense, how we are going to able we are able to explain about the past incident? Or if we are planning something for future, right? We will go there, we will meet, and I'll connect to you soon in future, in some time, how we are going to talk about that future incident. Okay, I'm not telling you about uh, you should uh, dive deep into the grammar, but you should have much knowledge, enough knowledge about the tenses. So work upon your tenses. Otherwise, while listening, you will be able to speak. Because while listening, you will be able to learn new words and the uses of words. Okay. Ma'am, a lot of people completed MA in English, but they cannot speak in English fluently. Why? Yes. Why? Because speaking comes after doing the speaking practice. Because they are not indulged into speaking practice. They are learning. They are getting input. That's why I always say people are getting a lot of input. They are watching five videos, 10 videos, 10 hours, 12 hours, spending time to listen to many videos. No, listen only two videos, one video multiple times or two videos, consume limited content and then try to speak. You should work on the output also. They were doing their masters in English. They were learning, they were getting input, they have knowledge, they know about grammar, they can write good English. But why they are not able to speak? Because they are not participating in speaking. Speaking. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's more important for any language. So, ma'am, I know do you see six language? One day I watch your video, your conversation with Nanda Kumar here. So, you mm -hmm. told Nanda Kumar. You, you know six languages, but um, do you know Bengali language? No, I don't know Bengali at all. No, I speak Punjabi, Bagri, yes. that is Rajasthanis, Punjabi, Bagri. I understand Haryanavi and I speak English, Hindi and uh, that Korean. Yes. Korean. Yes, yes. So like this, it is, it can be, uh, we can say. Because uh, six was like she uh, added six one that Urdu. Like I understand Urdu and I love to listen Urdu. I don't know why, but I love that sound when I listen to Urdu, especially Urdu language. That's why, yeah. Okay. Now I want to clear one thing. You use some time 
many times while speaking. So there are three sometime. First is sometime. I'll see you sometime. I'll meet you sometime. Okay. It means in future any day. I'll meet you any day. I'll meet you sometime. That is future. The frequency sometime like I do it sometimes. I go there sometimes. I talk to my friends sometimes. That is sometimes. Okay. So whenever you are using sometime, like I do this sometime, I do. Don't use sometime. Use sometimes. Okay. Sometime. okay, okay. Yes. Use s after that term sometimes. And third one is sometime. They are different. That is sometimes means do you have some time? That is this sometime. Okay. So these three are different. So when you are talking about frequency, like I go sometimes, I do sometimes, always use S sometimes. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yes, yes. Anything that you want to ask? Or otherwise we can wind up this conversation up right here. So ma'am. <laughs> your sentence structure so easily you you use always simple word and i always understand your uh, speaking English. so you my aim yep. yes 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 yeah i want uh, you know i speak uh, simple english although i am working on my advanced english too because now i know like many housewives many beginners you know, watch my channel. So they want to understand easy. They want to understand that easy language. Okay, they can understand easily. And gradually one, sometimes one word, sometimes two word, I try to, you know, add there. So they can also learn new words. Yes, ma'am. So, yeah. yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So overall, it was really nice talking to you. I liked your learning attitude very much. You are very consistent, very passionate and this is the one thing that will take you very long. Like you will, you will be able to achieve anything in life if you have a learning attitude, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Keep it up and keep doing the great work. Keep spreading the positivity around you. You have a great smile. You are already confident because you are a teacher. You are teaching there. So I can see directly like you are very confident. And don't worry about English because it's been only two months. After six months, you will see a drastic change in your speaking and in your even knowledge also because you are consuming content. Like you, uh, especially you are watching uh, many podcasts. So you will be able to see the drastic change after some time. So in future, never ever be very, feel very frustrated or don't take it as a, you know, burden. Just enjoy the journey. Okay. <laughs> Okay, ma'am. Yeah. So, the first time I feared to learn in English, so I cannot learn in English. So, I no. feel mm -hmm. first time, first time. So yes, yeah. Okay, okay. First time, I think English is a difficult language, but gradually I understand English is a easy language, ma'am. Ma'am, yes. you, know, ma you know, English is a global language, international language, and uh -huh. every is speaking English for their necessary. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, yeah, English is really easy language and you will be able to learn it. You have to spend some time with this language. Okay. Okay, then bye bye. Have a great day. It was really nice introduction with you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.